G'day everyone, I'm Nat and this is Nat's Knackers Yard. Welcome or welcome back. Um, and I am in a brilliant mood. The reason why I'm in a brilliant mood isn't because I'm filming some really bogging floats, uh, float bowls that are pretty hideous, but it's the fact that I've got everything out without breakage. Um, so, um, can't prove a negative and all of that, but I'm adamant I wouldn't have been able to do it without soaking it first. Um, so, top tip from that, penetrating oil. Top tip, everyone says it. Um, penetrating oil does, just, just makes a difference. Just give it a good soak and drench the bugger. Um, everything out, um, all looking pretty hideous, it has to say, or certainly the uh, jets do. Um, but I've got a rebuild kit coming, so I'm not concerned. Hence, I've not actually cleaned them uh, yet. I'm going to see what's in the kit first before I start doing that. I've not cleaned the carb yet, um, uh, but I will do, and it's going to get a damn good scrub. I even got the air fuel jets out, uh, air fuel screws out. Um, I put them back in, placed them back in, just so I don't lose the uh, the washers underneath. That said, I am short of a metal one on that side, but. Yeah, well happy. I just need to give this a good clean out. Diaphragm's out as well, no rips, no tears. All good. Awesomeness. The noise. So this is my uh, little, uh, my baby sonic cleaner, ultrasonic cleaner. Um, I wouldn't advise doing this with bare hands because it's bastard hot. Ow. Look at that, it's a lot better. So I obviously did carb cleaning uh, liquid, carb cleaner to it first. So all the gubbins, all the bits and pieces, which I chuck them in anyway. Um, I say that I've got replacements inbound, but I thought, why the hell not? Ow. Uh, uh, fishing for float bowls ever so slightly here. Easily enough. Now warm. A pair of pliers would have been handy. I just don't want to leave them soaking in that. That is um, cleaning fluid that I got with it. Ow! Cleaning fluid that I got with it. Um, I've just used the last of it in there um, and water so obviously I don't want to leave it in there too long because they do you know you go through the arse acre sonic cleaning them and then you brown them off by leaving them to effectively rust but they are looking good now regrettably I went for the little one it's not the smallest one I think it's a two litre one I can't remember it might be a three no it's a three litre one I think um, so I'm not going to get the whole car body in there so well, I could split it and chuck the two halves in but actually um, I really can't be asked um, and, and I kind of like just belting it with carb cleaner and scrubbing it to be honest um, I think you get pretty much as good a result but it's looking better they still need to dig out on the lips um, otherwise the seal's not going to fit properly. Um, I'm slightly confused. I need to do, I have ordered a book for this, the manual for it. I think the kit that I've ordered, although it's, um, although it's a Phaser 600 kit, I think it's actually the 1000 kit because the um, gasket's a different shape. So I have ordered the gasket separately on top of it. I'm just hoping all the um, jets and jet holders etc are the same. But, right, I'm going to, it's about to hammer it down, so I'm going to take this bit inside and just dry them off. Um, I think so that they don't rust and then await on the postman tomorrow for the carb rebuild kit and see what elements within here I do get new of um, because it's always a little bit hit and miss isn't it let's face it right see you in a bit 
Right, good day all. It's been two tomorrows um, and I still don't have the kit. So I got bored and just chucked it all back in. <laughs> I mean, it's all clean. Um, it's probably not in the best condition it can be. Um, there's a couple of minor leaks, but um, I just wanted to see what it was like, to be honest. So um, I've bypassed the pump and just left that unplugged for the moment. Fuel's going straight into the carb uh, from the top. Um, power wise <laughs> looks a complete bugger's muddle but effectively I'm running it off that battery whilst also charging it and I'll stick, that, stick it on boost actually because I, I, I'm not convinced about that battery but let's see what we end up with now it's a windy crappy day oh that's one thing I also wanted to cover that exhaust was just tagged on um, it's it's the wrong one there's no link pipe, so somebody has just tried to ram it on without a link pipe and it won't even go to the right angle. Uh, so what, uh, I knew I was going to need a new exhaust anyway, but that just physically doesn't fit. So it's a straight bar, straight bar, straight pipe going onto a straight pipe. You can't get it to bend up here unless you ever bend in the join, i.e. it's not attached. So I've just had to tag it on at a really rough arsed angle to get anywhere with it at all. Um, Right, give it a go. Sounds good. That's with no air restriction at all. I didn't want to piss around with it too much. Backing off the idle a bit there. It's actually quite clean. I did get it started last night and it was really smoky. Um, but that's probably just all the cleaning elements burning through. Happy with that. with that right I'm gonna do the same again I'm gonna try it on the pump yeah right quick cut and I'm gonna try going through the pump right so now connected through the pump it's running fine it's backfiring like hell because there's so much gap around around the joint. I mean that's barely on. It's helping with some of the back back pressure but not a lot. Happy with that. Well happy with that. Right, cool. No, not cool. Really cool. It's a running engine. And that kind of gives me confidence to actually start doing other things. So what other things? Um, I have now ordered the uh, lock set for it. Um, 
Uh, the one that I was looking at was 105 with one key. I resigned to that, looked last night, and there was one for 35, which I was ecstatic about. Even more so because I realised that the one that was looking at 105 was um, was not the right um, uh, fuel tap. Fuel tap. Yeah, petrol cap, that's what I was looking for. Um, had too many holes. So actually, the one that I've got will work, which is great. I should be able to sort out that dodgy hot wiring, which is really great, and it's got the, uh, the seat lock as well. Um, so that's good for uh, next week. Um, for one, I've ordered an exhaust, and I'm bidding on another. So I've ordered, it kind of harks back, and it reminds me, for those that um, follow uh, Motorcycle Rescuer, when I was sorting out Sultan's ER5 CAF racer. Um, and I've kind of followed track where they made the mistake, and it was a mistake uh, in hindsight, it's a wonderful thing, of just going for a cheap tag-on that didn't quite work and looked a bit crap. So I've ordered a cheap tag-on that's probably not going to work very well and it's going to look a bit crap. So I've just gone for a short slash one, um, uh, just to see how it looks and see how it sounds, just to give it some back pressure because I'm getting naff all out of this. Um, so I've gone for one of those, and I've bid it on a uh, uh, on a better one, um, uh, on a on, on a full system. Um, I see what works, whether the slash one works, or whether or not I need to buy a link pipe, which this needs to get that uh, pipe to a decent angle to be able to hang an exhaust off it, um, which is probably the solution that I'm going to end up having to go for. But um, uh, I'm not in a rush with this one. I want to get something right, but I also want something right now. Um, right, so I've done that as well. Anything else that I've ordered? Um, oh, I think that's it. The carb bits, when they get here, it's a question as to whether or not I do it or don't do it because it's running fine on what it's got. Now it's all been um, given a massive clean. Um, I need to check out the battery. I'm not going to mount the battery because I need to mount the airbox. To mount the airbox, I need to put the front on. I have pissed around trying to put uh, pods on but actually doesn't need it if I'm going to delete that air box I need to take the manifolds off to give me space to pull that out I don't really want to do it and I don't really want to delete the air box so I'm just leaving it hanging for the moment and I have to screw the face off um, uh, to get it out in the first place so I have to bang that back in at some point I'll probably have to whip the carbs out and, and piss around uh, with it on that side but while I'm waiting for the carb guts which I might or might not put in. The bit that I didn't put in was on the air fuel, air fuel screws. Um, it didn't have a full complement of plastic washers and metal washers, uh, and I lost a couple of them because I was never going to use them. So at the moment, the air fuel screws have got, um, three of them have got one rubber washer, one of them has only got a metal washer. Um, it was just proof of concept more than anything else, so I do need to do that because um, that will fail. Now the um, seals for the floats uh, I've got there here but I don't want to piss around with those until I've got everything that I want to do with the carbs so what I'm going to leave it for now until the postman actually delivers something well, it's not the postman it's Yodel and I think it's actually the buyer uh, the buyer the seller that's taking their time getting it to Yodel who are normally pretty good when they get there what I can do though is um, I'm on restrictive movement anyway because this front brakes just keeps uh, seizing up so I'm going to start stripping down the front end I'm going to take the mud guard off because some point in the distant distant future it's going to get painted um, so I'll take that off um, and I want to have a look at the um, brakes now a quick look a second ago I'm not sure you're going to pick up on it these are quite yeah in fact you can see my thumb mark going through it quite sort of greasy which to me says the pads are at least but at the moment it's binding it may just be the pistons they might just need a clean so what I'm gonna tag away all the bits tag away the uh, tag away put away the power put away my jump leads I'm happy it runs um, I'm happy it runs I'm fucking ecstatic that it runs uh, but I'm content that it's running fine um, the only bit that's going to improve it is that carb um, sorting out so don't need to mess around with the running of the engine at the moment I'm now on to frame and bits uh, to make sure that it um, will move all of this is in prep for when I get an exhaust that will secure <laughs> if nothing else so that I can actually just try and take it up and down the hill to see whether or not I've got gears 
and it pulls fundamentally. Right, awesomeness. I might just knock it on the head for this video, I think. I've got a running engine. I now just need a, ri a riding frame as well. Uh, but please uh, stay tuned because once I've got a running engine and a riding frame, I'm going to start pissing around with that frame and particularly my main emphasis being doing something with that wide ass uh, and I want to make it look different so I want to hack a load of that off I might keep an eye out for a rear hugger of some variety to go over the wheel I'm not sure yet um, but yeah it's going to be an interesting one this one it's starting to yeah, it's a hero already I don't want to tempt fate but it is a hero right cheers all catch you later ta -da. Thank you.